a comparison video for you today. So we've got the brand new Titleist T150 up against the Ping i230. We're going head to head, we're going to take a look at the looks of these golf clubs, the feel and also the performance. So two irons in what we would call the players category. So maybe that mid to low handicap area are these sort of uh, irons are really sort of suited to. Brand new Titleist T150 just launched, beautiful golf club. If this is going to be a real popular one in my opinion, we've got a forged head, great looks. We've got some help with some tungsten inside that head with a small cavity. We then move into the Ping i230. Again, a good looking golf club. It's not forged though in this particular club. And maybe Ping as a brand possibly aren't really renowned for their players' irons as opposed to maybe Titleist. So we're going to kick things off. We'll start with the i230 from Ping. We're going to hit some shots. So seven iron in my hands. This is lofting in at 33 degrees of loft. So a relatively traditional loft. So again, it's aimed for somebody who's not looking for distance in a way, but looking for a little bit more control, playability. So first instincts, we're gonna look, take a look at it from the back. It's a really clean look and a really good look from Ping in, in terms of the back from previous models. We've got this sort of badge in the back, which gives it that clean sort of look, I-230, very nice. We've got a satin finish, which is that Hydra Pearl, brilliant uh, concept for when it's wet dispersing moisture to help maintain spin. Playing position, it's a typical Ping looking iron. You know, I think Ping in terms of their looks in the players category, I keep using that word players category, I don't feel like they're, they're as good as other golf clubs on there in terms of the looks. We, you always stand out when you see a Ping iron, you know it's a Ping looking iron. Maybe just not quite as clean, a little bit more bulkier looking, medium sort of top line, little bit of offset. A really good solid feel and a nice sound to that. I, as I just mentioned before, this isn't a forged head, but they have done a hell of a lot of work in terms of putting some dampening inside this head. So they've got some different material in there, which is gonna dampen that sound, produce that little bit more of a muted sound, which we sometimes relate to as feel. And we look at that shot there. So ball speed's not obviously huge because of the loft at 33, which it's not designed to be, but you can see that spin's pretty high there, isn't it? 6,600. Again, obviously that little bit of loft is gonna help with that, but really get that line angle at 50 so lots of control there and that does feel good and I think it'd be an interesting one just to compare these two irons and whether this is a, a bit of a game changer for you when you're going looking for irons, you know, is it forged? Has it got to be forged for that feel or is that stainless steel head absolutely fine? I think definitely doing better work from the brands in terms of these stainless steels to make them feel closer to forged, to soften these sounds, maybe like what would hap is happening in this i230. So uh, push comments down below, is that a deal breaker for you? You know, it's gotta be forged. You're probably gonna pay that little bit higher price point if you're going forged. But having said that, the, the Titleists are only about £80 more for a 7-iron set against the i230. Just feels like there's so much more control with that. I mean, it's pretty high ball flight. It's definitely coming in with some land angle. Got to be 50, yeah, 51 there with a lot of spin. So you see 172 carry is decent, but we're like just going to stop on a sixpence. A bit pulley from me, but again, beautiful strike, gorgeous ball flight. There's a little reaction to that slight pull. Again, beautiful strike, ball flight's good. Just a touch right from come after that little pulley one. Obviously, that's a bit more me than the club itself. Let's jump into the T150. So since it's launched just recently, I've done a full review video, you can go and check that out. The T150, I feel is gonna be a really popular iron. So we see the T100, 150, 200, 350. The 150 basically is same shaping and look as the uh, 100, just a touch bulkier in the sole, a little bit more mass at the bottom and two degrees stronger on the loft. So this 7 is coming at 32 degrees. So it's one degree stronger than what we've just seen in the Ping i230. So Titleist, renowned of their players irons aren't they very much featured on tour quite heavily definitely associated the brand in that better player i would always sort of say having said that they are moving and making some great product for those mid to high handicap golfers so look down by the golf ball as i've said in the review video it's beautiful a little bit more compact there I just put these two side by side i know looks is very sort of personal but much more compact head there heel to toe top line a little bit thinner bit more probably a little bit shorter in the actual blade depth there against the ping so just a much more compact look so again depending on maybe what you like the look of you know if you need that little bit of confidence inspiring maybe that slightly bigger head of the ping might just appeal to you a little bit more but if you prefer a little bit more compact the t100 is definitely doing that for you stunning look it oozes a bit of quality i always feel the tight signs 
and that does feel good. Even though I have just pulled that a little bit. So good ball speed, 126. We should see a little bit more ball speed. And a, oh yeah, a bit of a higher spin there. I did catch a touch low. Beautiful, gorgeous flight yet again. Very similar height, to be honest, to what we've just seen with the ping. Looks to be very similar. And some very nice numbers there. So again, going back to this field, I'm gonna hit one more. Very difficult to split these, if I'm being brutally honest. Probably just edges it a tiny bit with the tightness, maybe being a little bit softer. Beautiful. Yeah, I think, I don't know whether it's just psychologically because I know this tightness is forged that I'm feeling that a little bit softer, but I think it is just a tiny bit, but there's not a huge difference be between those two in terms of that sort of feel in terms of softness. So really, I think if you're really hung up on forged irons, it'd be interesting if you go and try something, maybe like the I-230. Obviously, the looks are a little bit different between those two clubs, but those feels are quite close, but I think you'd be quite surprised. Really enjoy hitting that. I think we've got a bit of tungsten inside this uh, T150 head, sort of just splitting that heel and toe. So we've got some form of a little bit of stability in there. This obviously is two degrees stronger than the T100 with a very, very similar sort of look to it in that playing position. So maybe if you just want that little bit more ball speed, then this obviously is a better option than the 34 degree T100. Okay, so there's some hit with the T150. Comparing those two irons together, I'll just flick some numbers up on the screen as I'm going through this. So I think in terms of a look for me personally, I will be, be going for that T150. Just to, I like that a little bit more, that compact, slightly thin on the top line. I just like the finish of that compared to the finish that we see on the i230. Again, in terms of that feel, there's not a lot to split it, to be honest. Maybe just that T150, just edging it for me personally, but it is pretty close there considering that's fully forged and that and the i230 isn't post comments down below let me know your thoughts between those two irons very interested to hear where you sit in terms of that feel aspect appreciate watching the videos always hit that like button if you enjoyed it hopefully catch up with you all very soon